What's up guys? Welcome to That Creative Life. It's me, James Mathis, and yes, I have a GoPro strapped to my head because I'm going to take you behind the scenes of a photo shoot I'm doing today. Going for five photos, you get to meet the lovely Miss Emily, which I have done a recent video with, so let's roll that intro and let's get started. This is Miss Emily, our model for today. She was in the behind the scenes of the behind the scenes that I showed you. So let's get shooting some photos. We're gonna switch over to GoPro view now. Okay guys, so as you know, GoPro audio is crap. So this is a voiceover and I'm gonna talk about what was going on in my head when we were going through this photo shoot. And I knew that I wanted to get five good photos and I knew four of them what I wanted them to be. And so we went ahead and we got to the location which is convenient enough because we live like less than a mile away from each other so we get to the location and we pick out the spot that we're going to shoot the photos and i explained to her the four photos that i wanted to get and so we go through and we decide which ones to do in what order to make it easier because you know with the hair flip that you'll see later we obviously wanted that one to be last because we didn't want our hair messed up for the other pictures and laying down on the ground we obviously wanted to be close to last because we knew that she'd get leaves on her and stuff but we had a lot of fun setting it up and it was very easy going because I've worked with her before she's wonderful to work with she's very easy going it makes my life so much easier when you work with a model the number one thing people say is make them feel comfortable fortunately with Miss Emily that's not a problem at all everything is pretty easy going and so we went through and we got the photos that I wanted to get. And I think everything turned out so good. I cannot wait for you guys to see them here in a little bit. But when you're going to do portraits, a big thing you have to think about is how you want them to stand, how you want them to pose, what kind of props you want to use in your photos, et cetera, et cetera. There's all these little details. And so having not shot a lot of portraits, this was fantastic practice for me because she was so easy going, because it was so low stress. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's get back to the regular video now. Okay, so tell me a little bit about yourself. Dude. My name is Emily. I am from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, I am in school for nuclear medicine. Why do you like posing for pictures? Well, it's fun, first off, and it's fun to be able to express a side of me that I can't express outside of a photo shoot. Do you consider yourself a creative person? Yes, to some degree. It's cool. Do you do any other creative outlets? Um, I like cooking. Cooking, cooking. I'm very creative with. I like making my own recipes. <laughs> I used to own a bakery, so. That's awesome. Yeah, that was cool. I did that for 10 years, actually. Very fun. Awesome. So yeah, everybody. This is Miss Emily. She's awesome. Check <laughs> out her Instagram. It'll be tagged down below. You've seen it. You've seen her in the other video, so. I've been around. And I'm sure she'll be in some more coming up. We may do like some kind of crazy, insane photo shoot that I've been working on for a while now. I haven't talked to her about it yet, but yeah. And I'm out of focus. Eh. <laughs> so thank you guys. We're going to wrap this up. I'm going to head back to the house and edit these and show you what they look like. So let's go. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed that. This is the first episode of season three. It's gonna be more drone shots, more real world photo shoots, more just getting out and doing and being creative. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to show Miss Emily some love. Her stuff will be linked down below. Thank you for checking it out. The photos turned out awesome and they were edited with one of my presets. So if you are still interested in those, let me know. So I love you guys. You guys are awesome. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to live that creative life. 